drinking the 2009 Alma Viva. How would you describe the style of Alma Viva for someone who hasn't tried it before? Well, it's, um, you know, first of all, Alma Viva is a blend, is an assemblage of different varieties, mainly with Cabernet Sauvignon and uh, Cabernet, Cabernet Franc and um, some Petit Verdot and Merlot. So it, it's tried to be um, to, to an accessible wine with lots of uh, uh, red berry fruits, um, especially cassis in this, uh, t in this particular terroir, but also certain creaminess in, uh, in moth, um, all uh, in elegance, finesse, and uh, the, the, the long, uh, long finish. Yeah. Mm. Delicious. And what do you, I mean, this is lovely just to drink by itself, mm. but what would you pair this with in terms of food? What is the classic? Pairing from Chile yeah, that you yeah. might experience. Probably we we could expect uh, pairing Amayua with some meat, with some wayu, with some some lamb, or mm. according to the concentration of the year, or some uh, some duck. But in fact, uh, we like to pair also some uh, some more accessible vintage, uh, probably not as concentrated, but with a very nice uh, smooth texture, like uh, the 2001 with some uh, some fish uh, like uh, like uh, meru or uh, atun like, uh, like so we've got today. a lovely tuna yeah. steak with like a pea mm. puree mm. and a caper mm. sauce what is it that's fun about this pairing that really works between the wine and, and the food it's probably an an uh, expected pairing but in fact uh, it uh, it has not the same fat of a meat but it has a certain uh, texture and uh, and then test uh, that the, that will fit with this uh, nice texture and accessible uh, vintage. Yeah. Fantastic! Yeah. Well, well, let's take in. <laughs> let's get started. Yeah.